Greetings, welcome back to Singing City. Let's. No, no. Damn it, it's the machine gun. Please die, please die, please die. Because I have no the weapon. And he's gonna explode when once I kill. Really? You didn't kill while being shot in the head F with a shotgun? Really? No, that's. I think that's perfect for that. No, it wasn't so perfect. Okay, so I will shoot. He should. I'll throw that as well, and I'll. Thank you. And you are gonna die like. Like. Oh god damn it! <laughs> There's so many of them. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Okay. Actually, I might be the one that doing the dying soon. <laughs> Luckily, we can get out of here. I don't think I can shoot them while I'm here. No! Okay, I was saved by a tree. Go away. Nope, not that. I need to heal. No, oh, and that's not the place. For a second, I thought that maybe the place we were looking for, but no. Okay, reload. Where was that? Corner of Amber Street and Walnut, of course it has to be there. Of course I don't wanna do it. Really? For some reason, he wouldn't do that. I don't know why. Hmm. Okay, this is the corner, right? And what I'm looking for is supposedly in here. I'm gonna use that right away. And I'll make myself some more ammunition. Damn it. Don't wanna use that. <laughs> Shotgun, please. What the fuck? I hate you so much. I hate you so much. Please stop freaking out. Please. Oh, please die. You're not the exploding one? Hmm. Okay, interesting. Oh, I need the accuracy. Okay, that would be very nice. Don't know why I decided not to go that path. That's nice as well. I definitely don't want to go. That. Okay, this is fully. Ah! I'll go for that one. Which means I have to get this. Okay, from here we see where we have to go. I remember this place. Coin. 
and a lot of stuff. Please, detective, stop freaking out. We're done here. All we have to do is run. Oh, doesn't seem like you have to anymore. Okay, where next? Okay, here's one. There's one in the old grove. Old grove. So we'll get to this phone booth. And from there, we'll get to one or the other. And we're off to now. Straight forward. Okay. Hello. How are you doing? Extra, extra. All the news that's fit to print. Yeah, of course it you don't wanna give me a newspaper. Liar. Okay, let's get over here first. Yeah, it doesn't really matter all that much. Come on, work with me, please, thank you. Now over here, yep, finally <laughs> managed to turn the right direction. Want to me it's blocked, no I don't think it's blocked, I don't think it can be blocked by cars. And I can already see our house, <laughs> yeah. Oh, and the lore. The filthy locker from an ancient city hidden in the ocean depths. How do you know that? How do you know it's hidden somewhere? God damn it, I don't have enough metal scraps. Okay, another submachine. Well, it's. Too okay, I've been picking up single rounds. Okay, and there's a big one here. I think it's not gonna come out, so I can shoot it from here. What? I hit you straight in the butt! Okay, you take two hits in the butt, okay. How many health? Don't you dare move. Okay, I might actually create myself some more Metal scrap. God damn it, I used my last metal scrap. Because you can always get, have plenty of. Oh. I'm not really using those. Okay. I can hear it, and that's the worst of it. Because I can't really tell where it is. I think it was directly beneath me. Okay, so this is connected. This is the way I came in. This will get me upstairs on the other side. Oh, it's you! Don't make me! Oh, you made me. I tried to warn you. There's another thing. I can hear it! Keep forgetting that I don't actually have to press anything when I dispel the illusion. Okay, but that if that wasn't it, then where am I supposed to go? Oh, is there. 
bracelet. There's still something around here. It's first. Oh, I have all the first. Step, right. And I still can hear. I'm out of here. <laughs> mm, let's see. The insides of the bracelet are lined with short spikes. It seems the artisan's intention was to make sure the wearer never forgets they are wearing it. That's one way of doing it. What I want? Oh, I want to do delete that. Turn all around. You see? I knew there's still something inside. I don't think there's anything worth going but Really? How did he manage to shoot that through bo wooden boards? How? That's the same way he shoot me through the train. I don't like that. Okay. Let's go for the last one over here. The old growth nerf. And we're done with the sh with the glittering something. <laughs> can I get through here? I can. That's nice. No. No, I won't buy anything from you. Because you're not willing to sell. Okay, it should be a run-down house with open door. That will be easier. Because mm -hmm. I don't think you're gonna find... Oh, a lot of run-down houses around here. I remember this one though. Are you there? It's so cold here, my fingers can barely hold the pen. Tell my friends to return, they looked like scared. They look scared. What they do? I just spoke. The hell? But they always spawn when I No. Bad. Bad monster. God damn it. <laughs> Whoa, stop that. Okay, sh take out the shoddy. This is what I meant. I can always shoot them. They're bats, but it's not very useful most of them god damn it it's useful when i hit it with rifle certainly hope this is the place i'm supposed to be in the map it doesn't look like it. it doesn't look like any other houses we've visited so far what the it wasn't there. Yeah. Okay, it is a house. All that glitter, so... Wait. Okay, we have everything we could. Lower. Where is it? Okay. Buckle. A buckle carved like a visage of a terrifying marine creature. Hmm. Okay, since that's done, we can get back to the... Do we get back somewhere? No, it's completed. Okay. So we'll be going to the... Do we go to the basement? Oh, sorry about that. The other killer hunt is on the back bolt. Model D, I can use it to free myself from terrors if I present the carpenter's taskmaster as if in this. Yeah, so we'll go visit right here. Carpenters, because I don't wanna frame Pierce. He is an asshole, but I'm trying to be a good guy here. Sorry, 
very I'm very feel very sorry for Georgie. That was my bad, but I'm trying to do the right thing always, okay? I'm done. I'm not gonna frame bastard peers. Okay, the house only has one way in. I hope they can bail out bears. Oh, you. Good news. I found the man that really killed Vanderberg. His name is Glenn Byers, and better still, I have a confession written in his own hand. You work fast, Mr. Reed. But how do you plan on refuting Pierce's testimony against you? Well, as it happens, here's a letter detailing how Pierce was bribed to lie to the police. A remarkable effort. Thank you. I'll hand it all over to the authorities. Now, one more thing. Glenn was forced to commit the crime, and he confessed to everything. Given the circumstances, can he hope for leniency? I'll see what we can do. But do be aware, Mr. Reed, that in this city, excessive kindness may be taken advantage of. Bye. Thank you very much. What the hell? What? Oh. You've been doing a great job, Mr. Reed. I'm waiting for you at the Devil's Reef Hotel. Was that Johannes? Devil Swift Dance. Which one is that? That's one. Was that him? Damn it, can you leave me be? You're dead. Or maybe it was Stage. Maybe it was Johannes. Maybe it was someone with his face. But not him. Maybe he found a way to stay immortal. I don't know. I don't know. I don't wanna know. Oh my god. Well, he was doing some kind of seance. Oh, he's in my room. Hello. I'm watching you, newcomer. Okay. Just trying to be nice. You don't always get that from me. It's him. God damn it! How is this possible? At last, Mr. Reed. I heard about your recent case. Let me congratulate you. You've truly outdone yourself this time. A question, if I may. I've got a question. How on earth are you still alive? What can I say? Perhaps next time you should make sure you finished the job. <laughs> it wasn't me and you know it. All this. All I went through, and there was no murder to begin with. The prosecution would beg to differ. They had all they needed. A victim, a method, and a culprit. The rest is just bells and whistles. You set me up. You son of a... I only set the scene. I'll... What? Kill me? As amusing as it would be to see you charged with my murder a second time, I'm afraid we have more pressing matters. What do you mean? You know exactly what I mean, Mr. Reed. The prophecy. The seal. You have made yourself a part of something momentous. First things first about your case. Your short-sightedness surprised me. Why, Charles? Why hand poor Mr. Byers over to the police. He was guilty. He pulled the trigger. Oh, was he? You too have carved a bloody path through this ailing city, Charles. You could at least be consistent in your choices. Regardless, I shall call this experiment a success. In fact, you should consider it a taste of your ultimate trial. I don't understand. What do you get from all this? You are headed into the darkness, Mr. Reed. I'm giving you the experience you'll need to find your way through it. What do you mean, my ultimate trial? What does this have to do with anything? <laughs> of course. Everything. It's your destiny. Destiny beyond comprehension. To be more 
than a speck of cosmic dust to make waves across the universe to end things. And what? Everything. You've suffered in this city from the very beginning, from the moment you were born, in fact. Wanting to end it is only natural. But unlike those untold millions before you, you have the power to do so. You can turn mere prophecy into absolute truth. You don't mean... The seal of Kotiganar is in your hands. You possess the key to the gates, and all they hold within. You can close them and cling to mankind's misery for a few more cruel centuries. Or you can open them and end it. And you will do the latter. Why? Why would I destroy everything? Because otherwise your life amounts to nothing. Do you know how many chosen few there have been over the centuries? Nameless hordes, sacrificed at the whim of invisible masters. Not unlike those who watered the poppies of Flanders with their blood. But our sacrifices mattered. We won the war. A war with many yet to come. This is your kin's nature, your purpose to suffer. Your monkeys in an open cage, unwilling to walk out. Only you can make a difference. You can end it all for good. Johannes, you're vile. There is nothing more vile than futility. Watching this happen again and again and doing nothing. We are the agents of change, Mr. Reed. You're wrong. I'll prove it. You will prove nothing. You'll die. And at the next turn of the cycle, another will come along who is brave enough to finish the job. Nevertheless, I cannot abandon you, whether you agree with me or not. Your path is too important. Even if your choice is beyond my control. You're right about one thing, at least. There is an archaeologist in this city. He is very close to unraveling the secret of Katiganar. And you'll need his help to get inside. His name is Joseph Hill. Here's his address. Talk to him. Earn his favor. This is wrong, Johannes. All of it. And I still have no idea why I should even believe you. The truth is the truth. Whether you believe it or not, you can accept it, or try to put the blindfold back on. It doesn't matter. Farewell, Charles. Whether we speak again or not, I will be watching. And don't lose the seal again, or all your effort in this city would go to waste. Damn you. I hate you. Of course we will. Make sure we do, don't you? So let's go with... Hmm. Master Stith this time? Yeah, let's go with that one. Are you still here? Why are you still here? I really hope... You're still here, okay. Fleeing Phoenix. Oh, the guy is gone. Let's see, these are skills. I wanted to get this one. Yeah, we're nearly in the other level up. Eastern Reed Heights. Lam oh, Lumber Street. Between Hillock Street and Hell Lane. Where is it? <laughs> I'm Eastern. Eastern. God damn it. Hillock. Be mm, on Lumber Street, Hill and Hillock. Okay. So how can we, we can get there by using this waypoint? So this is what we're gonna do. No! Oh come oh I'll be the yellow one then. Let me change then. Or, and maybe we'll have another note on our... He's gone. Yeah. The murder of the famous mystic Johannes van der Berg has been solved. Police says newcomer Glenn Byers confessed to the dead and voluntarily surrendered to authorities. Byers was sentenced to life imprisonment for his crime. 
Interestingly, the Barriers case was taken on by Oakmont attorney F. Scott, previously known for his work with the Carpenter family. I will be doing my best to appeal this sentence, said Mr. Scott. Given the tragic circumstances of his crime, we believe a more reasonable sentence is achievable. Oh, okay, so we won't get anything new out of that. King's ropes. Yeah, we might use it since we are working for Johannes anyway. Damn, I hate the guy. And I look fabulous in yellow. <laughs> no, I look more like a pimp than the private detective. Really? <laughs> oh my god. It's gonna be interesting. I wish some of guy some of people would nope would comment my outfits. Uh, be somehow interesting here, you know. Oh, you're wearing the king's gloves now. Are you with them? Or or something like that. Or we don't, you're not one of the police, we don't want you here. No. Something to make you feel like you're really not wanted in the cell. Although, most of people make sure you don't feel like you want to. You, like you don't belong here anyway. So, I guess we just did an interesting bit. Where is this phone booth? It's somewhere near, okay. It's yellow. It's right here. Out of the north. And is that. Yeah, I can go along this way. Then turn right. Here, I think I don't see a thing. But I think I'm going the right way. I hope I'm going the right way. See somewhere here? Yeah, we're in the right street. Okay, let's look for the right door. There. Hello. Of course. I do escape, but something broke his neck with a single strike. And you're really willing to find out what did that? Eh? What the? What the? What the hell are you? No! No! Go away! What the hell was that? This is the last warning, my son. If you proceed with your self-destructive research, I'll take action. I can't watch you kill yourself, corrupt your mind, and sacrifice your health to these old fairy tales about the dead. It's not worth of it. Leave it or I'll leave you without inherit inheritance. I won't have you spend this money on your own death. And heal. Can we talk? Is she gone? Did you get her? Yeah? What the hell's going on? I'm sure I shot her dead, but then she ran. Oh, snub, we are in trouble now. It, my name is Joseph. Sorry for getting you into this, and thanks. Uh, Charles Reed. I was actually looking for you. For me? How can I help you? What do you know about that thing? The girl that attacked us? She's Usha, a Mayan priestess, rejected by death itself. I can only imagine what baleful sorcery still keeps her alive. Unusual, even by this mad city standards. Why would a Mayan priestess come here? What's special about this house? It was me she was after. 
Usha holds a secret older than humanity itself. And she wants to stop me from uncovering it. Don't ask me about it further. I can't say any more. I need your help to get into Katiganar. This madness must be stopped. Oh, that's a noble goal, but Vanderberg... Johannes was the one who told me about you, and about all the things that have happened since the Flood. He did? Well, I underestimated you. We share the same goal, but there's a problem. What kind of problem? The Mayan girl, Usha. She was the keeper of the key to Katiganar. We'll need it. You mean the seal? I have it. Just show me the entrance. The seal. You've got it. Spectacular. Uh, but alas, it, it doesn't solve our problem. You're testing my patience, Joseph. Usha was the last one to open the path below, and she still protects it. We cannot proceed until she's been dealt with. My bullets did nothing. Do you know of any other ways to fight her? There are ways to resist her sorcery. I was going to use them myself, but I'm not sure I have the skills to track this thing to her lair. But didn't she come to you? She caught me off guard, tried to kill me. I was unprepared. You arrived just in time to scare her off. I'm a private eye. Tracking Usha won't be a problem. But how do we handle her? Look, when you locate her lair, come let me know. Meanwhile, I'll prepare our defense against her magics. Then together, we'll banish her. Any leads on how to track her? I don't know. But she drinks blood to gain strength. There must be victims, corpses, but... Thanks to the wild beasts and madness, Oakmont is full of the dead. Though, I did hear rumor of a vampire in Salvation Harbor. Well, I guess that's better than nothing. Johannes told me nothing about you. Can you fill me in before we continue? I understand. You're curious. Your face tattoos are rather... unusual. What do they mean? The Indians gave them to me. I visited a lost pyramid in the jungle. These... A marks of wisdom. Your illness. How did you get it? Is it contagious? As with many of the tropical maladies, it was born by a certain species of fly. It bred in the wells of the old Mayan temple. Superstitious savages may call it a curse of the gods, but we're people of culture, aren't we? I've seen enough to not take superstition so lightly these days. If Johannes trusts you enough to recommend your help, you must have some unique expertise. Well, I am an archaeologist, well versed in alchemy and other less academic sciences. I have devoted my life to stopping the end of the world. Wait, what? I spent years in the jungle learning from Mayan descendants. The Ilvis forced my return, but I believe Shibalba's entrance is under Oakmont. Now that makes no sense whatsoever, but let's go with that. Did you say Shibalba? The world of the dead. It brings disasters, epidemics, madness. The most violent Mayan gods were locked inside and need sacrifices to remain. Different locals gave it different names. Some of them can be traced, their origins identified. But Katigana. It precedes us all. Do you want to get into this place, under Oakmont? No, no! That place must be closed forever! All that befalls Oakmont has emerged from within its walls! Well, I agree with that. And that's plenty. Thanks, Joseph. Okay, let me go to your place. Oh. These Mayan artifacts could be the prize jewel in many a museum collection. That yeah, may be true. Was oh, the letter? No. Wait. Really? Guess he told us he was sick. 
looks of these plants, this photo was taken somewhere in South America. Mm -hmm. Oh, something around. No, nothing. Really not surprised by the blood all over the covers. It's a pretty painting. Wait. Nah, it's usually. This usually means that there's something hidden beneath. And you're not interested by the lone outdoors whatsoever. Okay, guess. Oh, nope. <laughs> not gonna kill anything with that. I hate the sound it makes. That's why I'm always freaked out. What? What's happening? Oh, um. <laughs> okay, that's it. I'm done for now. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.